Hi there, thanks for joining me again. Uh, this will be the third and final episode of my experience with Nomad Dumbbells. If you've watched video one where I bought them and I promote them and uh, so I review them and give you my opinion of them. In the second one uh, we had an issue with snapping at the end here and I got replacements. Um, this is now the full set, the two original handles, the two replacement handles and the, and the original weights and the, and the casings. Well, after having the handles replaced, uh, it wasn't so long, probably three or four months, and the same thing happened again. As you can see, uh, this is virtually coming off. It's still held on by friction, I can't get it off. This is probably the only one that is the stiffest, it's still there. Um, there is no sign of any white line appearing, so that seems to be fully competent in its job. On this one, that's flexible, and so is that. But neither of them are wanting to come off, however, they are damaged. Um, it's been a long ride with, with Nomad, it's been over a year, and I think what they need to do is improve this cartridge, this plastic, uh, I have I have since moved on to a different supplier. This you can clearly see is all metal. This is clearly all plastic. And the problem is at the joint up here the plastic gives way whereas the metal uh, would more bend and uh, you'd have other issues. I'm not saying these are going to be perfect but they are a far far more improved product than what these were. Without doubt these gave uh, my sons a start in the adjustable dumbbell world. Uh, we've learnt from them and we have now moved on to a better quality one. These ones are from Muscle Squad and they appear to be very very good. Moving back to these, uh, my contact with Nomad Dumbbells uh, was constant. Uh, there was an issue with regards to transport. I wanted a refund and they wanted these transported back but because they were damaged it was to have to be it was it was to be at their cost. However they couldn't find a supplier that made it financially benefit to return them to them. So after too long a time, I eventually got my money back and they said that I could just keep these uh, for myself because they are basically, they are useless. You could work away with them very carefully, but you're taking a big risk. So as far as I'm concerned, they're no use to me anymore. I've now decided to, to sell these to somebody who might be skilled in plastic welding and can do something with these. So these are going up for sale. Uh, as an end note to this experience, I wouldn't put people off buying Nomad dumbbells. I would just ask them to be very careful in their placement on the ground. We discussed that my opinion was they were getting put down onto the ground at an angle to take the weight for, from, from weakened arms. Uh, which would have contributed to them cracking. If that was the case, then it's a technique issue. Um, however, I think there is a quality issue involved with these as well. I don't think there's anything else that I could add to this experience other than uh, I wish it hadn't happened. I wish I'd spent more money in researching uh, a dumbbell that was made of metal rather than plastic and then I wouldn't have had all the hassle of contacting people and them having the hassle of me having contacted them but it is what it is it's a life experience hopefully my experience will give you some sort of encouragement to maybe spend a bit more money and get a better set or you could start off with these and just be careful other than that thank you for sticking with me with this uh, interaction with the Nomad, dumb Nomad Dumbbells 
and I wish you well in your venture in selecting a pair for yourself. I hope this has helped you. Thanks very much. Take care. Have a great day.